Greetings and salutations. Welcome to another spooky video. I know that... You really should have switched off your phone. I know. I really should have switched off my everything, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you hit the switch on the side and put it on mute? I'm trying to do that. No, there's one there. I don't know. So, just like this. Comes up and says silent mode. You learn something new what sorcery is this? Okay. Greetings and salutations, my name is Oracult, and welcome to my sanctuary. To those of you new here, you're very, very welcome, and to those of you who are frequent supporters and visitors, I thank you so, so much for all your input, and I would like to mention that I do have an Instagram, which is linked down below here, and hopefully you guys can go and follow me over there, because it's, for some reason, I don't know why, it's not as popular as my YouTube channel. That's just wrong is what it is so you thought spooky season was over well it's not it's not over i refuse it to be over see it's still spooky here because a nobody wants it to be over and two maybe because i was slightly late with stuff due to my illness I was ill, okay? I had a really bad time for the last two weeks, so I'm a little bit behind with all my spooky videos. So I hope you do forgive me, but also enjoy the continuation of the spooky season way past when it should go for normal people. I mean, technically, our spooky season is all year, so I thought to throw in another few spooky videos that I've been thinking about and actually working on would be highly appropriate. And if you don't think the same, what are you even doing here? Somehow, I don't know how, but I always manage to live somewhere which doesn't celebrate Halloween. To be fair, I was only in a place that did celebrate Halloween as a child, not through, obviously, my own choice or anything like that, but it was amazing. Halloween is amazing, I love Halloween, I love everything to do with Halloween, and I'm a huge, huge fan, obviously, because it's spooky, it has pumpkins, it has everything, everything I love in one holiday. What could possibly go wrong? But, of course, I tend to move somewhere these days, or, well, initially technically live in a place that doesn't really have Halloween. I mean, we sort of have it, but not really. So, I already did a video like this last year, so do check out all my Halloween stuff from last year, but namely this one video, which was titled, Is There Halloween in New Zealand? I will link it up here. So, today we find out, is there Halloween in Russia? Now, technically, not really. But if you live in a big city, there will be stuff and events and all sorts of things that you can go to. And there will be all sorts of things that are sold here and there. But of course, is it up to standard of the classic American Halloween? I don't think so. And some of the stuff sold is so-so mm, quality. And yeah, I, I did come across quite a few things after I bought some of the crappier things. But it was a bit late and I will consider it for next year. Because frankly, we're still unpacking. We have so much stuff and we're still going through all of it. And yeah, it's difficult. So I thought I'd limit myself to some certain amount. So this video will just to show you through some of the events and some of the stuff around and some of the drinks and food and whatever I find that shows any evidence of celebrating Halloween in Moscow. Now I gotta admit there was lots of pumpkins around even when you didn't really expect to see them like you walk along and then suddenly wham you kind of turn around and there's pumpkins here there everywhere food courts went pretty much all out with stuff like this on display then there was restaurants this is actually your literal pumpkins just lying around in the streets close to this restaurant i mean how cool is that like there's a lot of pumpkins there and then of course the supermarkets you'd see displays some of which even said like that it's halloween pumpkins like this one here which is really cool and then you just had a lot of pumpkins i mean it is after all seasonal as well so you got butternuts and all sorts oh and then this which is not really a pumpkin but it is kind of pumpkin colored i hope they didn't just get this for halloween 
And of course, you want a good latte of some sort that's, you know, pumpkin-y with all these nice spices. So I got this in an email and got really excited, thinking, oh my god, how cool is this? So this was promising us a mandarin Halloween latte and a mandarin whiskey-based caramel something-something-other cocktail. Which I thought was interesting as well. I don't really drink, but the man who wanted to give it a go, I guess, well, I kind of made him. It's not as orange, but maybe it's because it's not in an orange cup. Still looks interesting. It looks more orange in real life than it does on camera, but it is kind of orange. Now it looks like yin and yang. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yin and yang, though. Okay. And this is the whiskey based cocktail. Okay, try it. I'm not filming him, just doing the cocktail. I can see that being a bit Well. different. Can't say I'd have another one, but... Is it sour? Can't taste the chili. What about the lime? A little bit of lime. And the mandarin foam thing? Yeah, I'm getting the mandarin through now, but... Not your favorite. Just give me the whiskey. What about caramel? No? Not really. It looks like a Coke with like Fanta on it. looks like a, a Coke float, yeah. A Fanta Coke. <laughs> okay, well, so much for Halloween drinks testing. Mine is kind of like, you can see again that it's more orange now. It's kind of like spicy chai latte thing, but it's with coffee. And I can't really say that it's mandarin. It doesn't taste even citrus. It just tastes sweet, basically. So I guess it's just in it for the color. Okay, and then the rest of the shopping situation is kind of interesting. So you go in, and there's welcoming pumpkins in even our mall next to home, pretty much. So, you know, you think you get some stuff, and here are some various things I've seen in the shops. It's not necessarily just our mall, here's fixed price, and some stuff they have, which is not a lot, but I got some stuff there. And here's the local craft store with all the horns and the hats and the spiders. But then I saw this display and I had to go in this one. This was really good. I mean, look at the candy coffins. How cool. Look at it. It's just like it has that stuff in there. It actually moves. I think this one is stuck a bit, but it's still really cool. And then you get all this other stuff here, and what I really like about it, a lot of this is actually household things that you can use, you know, during the year. And look at that skull candle, oh my god, that is so cool. And all the plates, and oh, more skulls, I mean, who doesn't love a skull? Look at the lights, what the hell is this thing? Oh my god, oh, it's a squishy, oh my god, it poops, god knows what, that's hilarious. And it's a bat, oh my god, it's the cutest. Absolutely useless and gathers dust, but it's still so cute. Ugh, oh, more skulls, glow-in-the-dark stuff, cushions, I mean, what more could you possibly want? And little tea lights, and god, this is so much stuff, I love it. Yeah, I never got that white skull, I'm kind of sorry I didn't now. And yeah, so that, that's pretty big. Then you got some costume elements here you can incorporate into your costume. And then you have some bath bombs and oh, key rings. How cute are these? These are the cutest. Oh, it has a little pumpkin. I love it. And of course, glow in the dark skeletons, pins, and some other stuff. Very, very cute. Very cute. And then, of course, you have the cheaper jewelry stores in the mall, all going, you know, bonkers over <laughs> Halloween as well here. So you get all of this stuff, but unfortunately, it's kind of cheapish looking. I did get a few things. I've put it into my haul, so you will see it if you watch my Halloween haul video. And I did get a few of these lantern sort of things. And yeah, then you get horns, and again, sort of same type of jewelry. I think it's just a second store of this kind in another mall or something. But yeah, it's pretty pretty standard, I would say. You know, some of these are 
cute, some of these are too gimmicky, but yeah, you, you can always find something as a goth that you can basically wear every day. That's not too crappy looking one or two items I got out of this, so I was quite pleased. I did like that bad choker, but you know, it's it, it looked bad, <laughs> like it looked bad. And of course there's horny hats as well, because we're going close to winter now. And you had these, these were so cute and fluffy, but unfortunately too big for me. And of course the witchy hat. Uh, I never really liked those much, and yeah, more of those horny ones. And you have little barrets, and little spiders, and yeah, found these chocolates too somewhere. So as you can see, nothing really out of the ordinary around here. It's just, you know, candy, sweets, some homewares. And Moscow is a pretty big city, so, you know, there's some people that are Halloween inclined. So we had a Gothic Coven uh, Halloween Market which was actually probably the coolest thing that we've done over Halloween for us. They were even advertising other events, so, you know, there is definitely stuff to do. Now, look at this. This is the cutest place ever. This is called the Time of Wonder um, Cafe, and it had this decor. I swear, I couldn't even tell which part of this decor was actually for Halloween and which part is their kind of normal decor and look at some of the stuff they had at the bar I mean how freaking cute and look at the little witches and they had all of these figurines and the most wonderful sort of decor ever and they had all of this stuff at the bar with little hats and that's just traditional Russian candy for kids I guess a little uh, rooster then you have spiders, and this is their normal kind of wall. I mean, it's all sort of Cheshire Cat kind of style. And just, yeah, this is really, really incredible. I've never heard of this place before. So, of course, we kind of sat down to have a bit of a coffee. And then we moved on to the market to check out what else they got. So, so a lot of this stuff was on sale. You can see sort of candle kind of monster books and owls and all sorts of mythical creatures, dragons... God knows what else, and then on to the decor again. And yeah, I mean, there was so much to look at, I was actually kind of even lost. The market itself, though, was real impressive. You got, you know, all the leather goods, for example, here. Had wallets and notebooks, then you had the witchy stuff. So you had all sorts of candles with all sorts of intent already. And yeah, you had... Uh, the shape on some of the candles. Oh, those are actual candles. Oh my god, that's just amazing. And then again, you have the cool witchy and Halloween-y kind of decor. And then you had all of these other candles here. These are even more Halloween, not just witchy. Then you had something called, I think, somber ceramics. And look at that. How gorgeous is that? The jack-o'-lantern plates. I really wanted one, just didn't want to carry one around. I might get one off the internet. Had some other stuff there. And then we're coming dangerously, dangerously close to the jewelry. That's always a danger for me. And I initially love those chokers and the red cross. And then we go look at the decor again, and there is, unfortunately, more jewelry coming up. Ah, no, wait, there's party stuff first, but there's definitely more jewelry. Because I did buy something, and uh, I bought something from this stall. Can you guess what it is? Because I will show you later on what I got, but yeah, this is just, like, so cute. And I love the packaging on it as well just absolutely adorable um, yeah there's moons and all sorts of cool stuff so this is definitely something that I would purchase so unfortunately that happened and uh, more pins and other stuff as well and yeah this is just amazing and to look closer at the pins there you go I think this starts shaking shortly <laughs> because they were moving it or something so I apologize for that one yeah, there. It, it's not an earthquake, it's just people moving the table. But yeah, so many earrings, so many rings, absolutely amazing stuff. Very nice to see all in one place. And look, even elven ears. And then you have even more jewelry. Ah, so much jewelry. Then you have all sorts of stuff under that jewelry. 
some of it is little soaps and wax things and yeah this is just a lot of it is kind of steampunk as well so very cool looking and then basically you had a lot of performances as well so we filmed a little bit of those too Oh, and here's the stuff that I got. I got these super cute earrings with the moons and the little green gems. And of course I got the moon faces necklace because I just love moon faces, so I had to get it. Here's a cute poster we saw before we went outside. And then we had to go fairly early because this was on the actual day of the man's birthday. And we had axe throwing. So this we did on the 23rd of October, a Sunday. So we couldn't really do much. But then we did a Halloween night at our metal bar, which was his surprise party. I didn't really film anything because I was so nervous about organizing it all because, well, there was a cake coming that he didn't know about, and the cake was late, and some of the people were late, and, you know, well, when I say it was a surprise party, like, he just didn't know that people knew it was his birthday. We don't know that many people, but we know some people at the bar, so I just asked them nicely to, you know, sort of gather around the troops, say it's a birthday, I'll get a cake, you know, and we'll just do metal stuff, like listen to metal, talk about metal, and have this awesome metal cake. Look at that. Those skulls are actually chocolate. And <laughs> those skulls basically um, are really heavy, so they slipped and I had to put them back on the cake. Somebody took some moody black and white shots and here's me cutting the cake. I was dishing that cake for hours, I think it was like 4 kilos of it or something. But it did mostly all go and people said it was really nice, so that was cool. And the bar was decorated for Halloween because it was like Halloween basically almost the same day. It was like the 20, well, the 29th, which was the last Saturday just before. And some people uh, who run the bar actually made toffee apples. How cool is that? And yeah, here's just some shots of people talking and having fun and stuff. So there was heaps of people there. Look at everybody throwing horns, just as everyone should in the middle bar. And then the next day, so the day right before Halloween, we went on the Halloween cruise for the kids. Frankly, the only Halloween-y thing about it was that the people who were meant to be entertaining them kind of dressed up, so we had a Mavis and a Dracula, which is better than nothing. But apart from that, they kind of mostly entertained themselves, and here we are. And one of the mothers was incredible, because we did go with a bunch of people from our older son's class and their parents, and she was sitting there drawing like the spider web on the hand we had there for hours on end for all the kids they all had their faces painted they were all so happy and of course what kind of cruise would you have on the moskva river without actually s going past the kremlin and seeing the start of the christmas decoration on the goom there which is a big department store and then of course it goes past christ the savior cathedral which is quite a dramatic history of the cathedral when the communists came to power they blew it up and built a swimming pool in its stead but back in the 90s when the soviet union fell the church was rebuilt this is the main orthodox cathedral in the country and the most big services on things like christmas and easter that are broadcast all over the country usually come from here with the patriarch who is the head of the russian orthodox church involved and here you can barely see a pink building there through all the rain. That is the New Zealand Embassy in Moscow. Now finally for the last section, outfits and nails. So here is what I was doing with my Halloween outfit for my videos. So I took this plain black dress, I threw in some orange earrings, which are kind of like maple leaf earrings. I threw in the kokoshnik, which I made, which is the headpiece. I have that in my video that I released on Halloween as part of the Halloween collab that I did with a bunch of other channels. And I was telling a Russian folk story there. And the scarf I also got for that video, but just somewhere secondhand. And then I threw in the Killstar Dawn Witch boots, which are one of my favorites, and I absolutely love them. They're absolutely stunning. So that was the outfit for the vid. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have time to do nails for that vid, so I did them a bit later, and that has some cool sliders and are Halloween themed, which were done for me in a salon, because I can't do this stuff for shit, but they turned out pretty cool and I really, really like them. So yeah, here's a few shots of that, has some witches, some owls, the owl fell off later, but <laughs> I tried to keep it as long as I could, and there's a black cat of course, and it's all orange, black, and white as, you know, Halloween colors. Very cool. But I think apart from when I wasn't in black and orange, I just tend to wander around in black in my Killstar beret, in my Killstar sunnies, and my Killstar shoes. And yeah, all in black, while the weather permitted, during autumn now, we're almost in winter. I'm sorry, I just really love this thing. It makes all sorts of stupid noises and I just used it last Halloween and it's this is cheap at any price. This is amazing, I love it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't even know what's in the video, really, because I haven't done a lot of the footage piece together yet, but I hope you did enjoy it. I did find quite a few things that I found were really, really cool. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to take the kids actually going for candy or anything like that, but there was a special Halloween cruise that we took them on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Yet again, thank you for watching. I hope Halloween is well, was now. Amazing where you live. Amazing. I hope you have the best Halloweens ever and a great time of day wherever you are and greetings and salutations to you.